Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing how to raise your vibration. If you clicked on this video because you want to learn how to raise the settings on your vibrator, this is the wrong video. I do not know where you can find that video to be honest with you. But I'm going to be talking about raising your energetic vibration. Now, what is energetic vibration? Basically, it's energy. When you think of the universe, you have to think of everything in terms of vibration, energy, frequency. You have to think of it in that form rather than the form of material things and, and gases because really everything comes from energy. You could find out that from E equals MC squared. Energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. So everything comes from energy. I mean, when the universe started, it started with the Big Bang, which was just pure energy. So our body also operates based on energy. I mean, when you eat food, you're eating food to get calories, which are energy. The sunlight produces energy to give energy to plants, etc. And our body works just the same. It works based on vibration. And that vibration, a lot of it has to do with our mental state with us taking care of our body and also taking care of our mind it's it's the mind body connection and in order to take care of your soul your spiritual needs you have to take care of your body and your mind and that will help you raise your vibration which will help you get in touch better with your spirit or your subconscious however you want to look at it but it allows you to get in touch with that higher power inside of you I call it the subconscious, some people call it God, but it's actually a real thing. And um, through learning about raising your vibration, you will learn how to get in touch with that higher aspect of you. For example, people such as Buddha or Jesus, they existed at higher vibrational states. And a lot of people think that they were just teaching us that they are only like this and only they can reach those high levels. And and maybe it's impossible to reach the level of Jesus. I don't know. But I know that you could reach higher vibrational states by doing certain things. And those things I'm going to share with you today how to raise your vibrational state. The first thing that you should do to raise your vibrational state is letting go of negative thoughts and emotions and it seems rather difficult because we think well my circumstances aren't great so I have to be unhappy or this person pissed me off so I have to be unhappy and hold a grudge against them but honestly you could let those thoughts go and and honestly what my story, what I've had is I've had people that did me wrong, I've had people who hurt me, crushed my heart. You put your trust into a person and you expect it in return, but instead they use manipulation or they try to bring you down. And I've had a lot of that, but I've learned that those people are at a low vibrational level. And because they are at a lower vibrational level, they're going to try to pull you down, sort of like crabs in a bucket. And when I realized that I don't have to hold on to negative emotions, especially when I could analyze the situation from a different angle, such as perhaps they are at a lower vibrational state, then you could forgive the situation and you could forgive the person because honestly, it's as Jesus said, forgive them, Father, because they don't know what they go through. People who exist at a lower vibrational state don't know if they're hurting you. I mean, they do know they're hurting you. But they're at a lower vibrational state. That's why they're hurting you. So you could rise above that if you choose to. And choose to just love your enemy instead of having to fight back. Just forgiven the situation. I mean, don't get me wrong. You have to defend yourself. If I came up to you with a knife, you'd better shoot me. I'm just saying you have to be able to defend yourself. But you don't have to let these negative circumstances or negative people bring you down or even just 
anything. I mean, they had a TED Talk where I forgot the exact guy's name, but I'll probably add it to the channel when I find it. But he was talking about how there's certain people and they have really bad circumstances versus really good circumstances happening. One person becomes a quadriplegic while the other person wins the lotto. And he asks the audience members who they think is happier, in general happier. And what they found was that when the event happened that caused the quadriplegic to become paralyzed and the lotto winning, at that exact time, the lotto winner was happier and the paraplegic, quadriplegic, sorry, was much unhappier. But a year later, their happiness levels were about the same. Which means that it doesn't necessarily matter what circumstances you're going through. You could be happy because you could control your happiness with synthetic happiness. So let go of negative thoughts. And I'm not saying you should be happy all the time because even happiness can be misleading. Such as if you go to a store, a salesperson could make you happy, which makes you think this product is better. And he could thus manipulate you. So... Happiness all the time isn't good, but it's still a better state to be in than in a negative state, such as anger, jealousy, envy. The second thing is, this stems from the first, letting go of toxic people. There are certain people that just seek to bring you down. They don't seek to push you forward and motivate you to do better things. And you got to let those people go. Now, I'm not saying to let all negative people go because some people are actually there to help you grow. So they use constructive criticism to help you grow, but they're not negative people. They just use constructive criticism because they want to see you become better. Those people you need in your life, because if you want to grow, you need people that will give you constructive criticism. But I'm talking about those people that just keep doing negative things that is not helping your life to move forward. You have to let those people go because they're like crabs in a bucket. As soon as they see you start going up, they're gonna pull you back down. Let go of those people. Another way, the third way I'm gonna share with you about how you can raise your vibration is by eating healthy. I've actually, if you listen to my speech, <laughs> you'll know that, or listen to some of my other videos, you know that I'm a big fan of healthy eating. And from my research, what I found is that the best diet seems to be a raw, vegan, alkaline diet, such as the Dr. Sebi diet. And the reason for that is because it keeps the body in a balance of homeostasis, or it keeps the body in homeostasis, which is all your body's internal environments are working optimally. I mean, it's like having a car. Your body's like a car. If you're Driving a car, what happens when you don't change the oil filter and you don't change fuel pumps, etc., and you don't keep the car clean? What happens? The car is more likely to break down. And this is true for the human body. We, we have the human body breaking down with so many diseases, so many sicknesses, viruses. It's like there's a new one every day and, and there's a new medicine for it every day. But when you're using medicine, you just you're you're, you're band-aiding it you're not actually treating the source of the condition it's like let's say you have a, a leak in your car in and let's say an oil pan it's like you just put duct tape over it instead of buying a new oil pan and what that essentially is doing is it's just prolonging the problem it, it, it seems like the problem's going away but it's not treating the actual source of the problem with most prescription medicine. Now, there are some things you should use, such as maybe an antibiotic if you have a strong biotic infection, because that's actually treating the source of the problem. But if something is just alleviating the problem and not treating the source of it, then it's essentially a waste of time. And that goes with even disorders such as ADD or, or other mental disorders they have. To me, if if you have that, then try to find natural ways to control that or to 
alleviate. If you can't deal with it, then yes, I would say suggest prescription medicine as a last resort. But if you want to raise your vibrational energy, then eating a healthy diet is the way to go. And there's a book by Akik, Akil, I believe his name is, called The God Awakening Diet. And he talks about a vegan alkaline based diet because his diet is based on the Dr. Sebi diet and that guy was was amazing he he actually was a medical doctor without a degree and he was practicing medicine and then some people tried to sue him or the state tried to sue him saying he was practicing medicine without a license and he actually won the case because there were so many cases that he proved that he successfully helped people with certain diseases and his method of treating diseases was through plants and herbs and and natural foods that comes from nature so look into that and that will also help to raise your vibration level because with healthy eating you think with a better state of mind you're you're more happy you're more positive you're more productive you have more energy so when you keep your body in a perfect balance it's it's again like a car if your car is in perfect balance then it runs great you know you could floor it and it moves really fast but when it's in poor condition you floor it and it's cluck 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 so yes focus on eating healthy and, and adjusting your diet you can do it slowly you don't have to do everything in one day i still eat meat Eating too much meat is bad, so I, don't, I try not to eat too much meat, but I still eat meat, but ultimately, from my research, the best way to go is vegan and keeping your body in an alkaline state. And the fourth way I'm going to share about how you can raise your vibration is through meditation. Now, my father is the first person that told me about meditation. And I, my father, me and I, me and him didn't talk that much because he was an extremely busy man. I didn't grow up with him, but he was very successful as well. He became the president of Petrochrin in Trinidad and then the mayor of Point Fortin, which is a city. So when he gives me advice, it's something that I really pay attention to. And he just suggested meditation one day while I was in Trinidad and he he suggested transcendental meditation, but that was too expensive for me to afford. So I said, you know what, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to find out how to meditate on my own. And I started and at first it was difficult because I didn't know if I was doing it right or what or what the purpose of meditation was, because it's hard to find information on what the true purpose is. But after a while, I started to get into a state where where it's as if thoughts would just come into my mind from almost nowhere it seems it, it would just come into my mind and if I meditated long enough it would even I would even start imagining things such as if I was in a dream my subconscious would have images but back then I didn't know it was my subconscious and it would be cool one time I meditated for around 40 minutes and I heard a musical piece come into my head and it was a beautiful song, but I've never heard it before. And I said, wow, this this is great. If only I could just put this onto a computer. I guess this is how a lot of artists make amazing hits. The, the music comes from them to the, from the subconscious or, or movie ideas. It comes from the subconscious, which is essentially almost... It's... After doing more research on the subconscious, it's kind of like a cosmic mind that links all of us. So so what meditation does is it allows you to, one, get in touch with your subconscious, but two, it also let, teaches you how to let go of thoughts. And that's very useful for when you're trying to use step one to raise your vibration, which is to let go of negative thoughts. Meditation will help you in letting go of negative thoughts, but it will also allow you to get thoughts from the subconscious because the subconscious is always trying to send us information send us messages and it's supposed to have a direct connection but because of the state of mind we're normally in 
in a conscious state of mind, which is emitting beta waves, we don't have full access to our subconscious. But when we meditate, what we do is we lower our brain waves to lower levels. And what that does is when our brainwave level goes down, our access to the subconscious goes up. So with that being said, when you meditate, what you're doing is you're expanding your consciousness and you're allowing the information from the subconscious to flow into your mind. There are people in India and other Eastern countries, such as countries that practice Buddhism, Hinduism, that meditate regularly. And these people could stay at those higher states of mind or higher frequencies, higher levels of consciousness for extended periods of time because they stay in this meditative state, allowing the subconscious, the flow from the subconscious to fully enter their mind. Now, I'm not saying that you are going to be able to do that because these guys, they do it every day. That's their life. But through meditation, you can learn how to access more of your subconscious and that will help you tremendously with solving problems and also ideas because the subconscious is pretty much it's sort of like an infinite library think about a computer and then a computer with internet well when the computer is hooked up to internet it has access to a lot more information versus if it was just a computer that came from the manufacturer and essentially the subconscious is the same thing it's basically like this internet that connects all human minds together and also connects you to an infinite mind so basically in order what it is to raise your vibration one let go of negative thoughts two let go of negative people eat healthy healthier and i suggest a raw vegan alkaline diet do not look into it the benefits of it and then for meditation there's many types find what works for you my meditation i like to just breathe and pay attention to my breath and let go of thoughts which is you let the thoughts pass by but you let them go, you don't pay attention to that and give them power. So do some research on it for yourself. If you don't understand this, or if you don't want to believe me about how everything is energy, just do some research into it. And honestly, it will help your life tremendously because you'll be much happier and you'll be more productive and able to get more done. Thanks for watching. Later.